<laughs> it is not clickbait. I quit my management consulting job, but there is more to discuss. Why did I quit? Will I be starting a new job? Will I be doing YouTube full time? Why do I never say where I work? My thoughts on conventionally stable versus unstable jobs. What's my favorite flavor of ice cream? So let's get into all of it. right here, shall we? Would you believe that this is New York City? The green spaces exist, you just gotta find them. I'd originally planned to make my own coffee at home for that little montage, but then I wouldn't have an excuse to come sit out here with you guys. Anywho, hello guys, this is Taylor. I am a full-time YouTuber at the moment. I'm from LA, I'm now living in New York City. If you're new here, I usually start these videos out with, I'm a full-time management consultant and part-time YouTuber, so that's why I made a big deal out of that. So yeah, I officially quit my management consulting job. I say officially because I actually haven't been working for a minute. I took over a month off of work before officially leaving, and during this time off, I really evaluated what I wanna do with my career moving forward. And in the meantime, I pretty much went all in on YouTube. You guys might have noticed that I've been posting pretty much weekly for the last, what, two months or so, and that's because I actually have time to make the videos now. And posting videos more consistently and feeling finally like I could give them my all in terms of upping my production quality and taking the time to learn how to just improve my editing so I can make my videos more engaging has just been so much fun and so rewarding. So I reflected on what I want to do for the rest of my life. Just kidding, not the rest of my life, but for the next couple years. Whether that be staying at my previous firm after taking the time off and reflecting, doing YouTube full time, looking for a different consulting job elsewhere, or going into a totally different industry. So I noodled on this a lot, as you might imagine. When it comes to the question of doing YouTube full time, I mean, I have been for months now. Surprise! Like and subscribe for zero dollars to show support. Let's turn that 81.5% frown upside down. But doing it full time without anything else on the horizon is a bit different. The thing with YouTube and other kind of unconventional 1099 jobs or contract work is that you typically earn a different amount each month. In my case, I earn a different amount of YouTube ad revenue each month and a different amount from sponsors each month. It depends on how well my videos do, how often I post, ad rates, a bunch of things. Versus my consulting job or any other corporate job, I could count on a paycheck twice a month for the same exact amount, no matter what. So in a lot of ways, the decision on which job to do if I must choose one comes down to how much more would I have to make from my unstable job, YouTube, compared to my stable job in order to feel comfortable going full throttle with the unstable job. And if you have a particularly large risk appetite, and I know a lot of people who do, you might even wanna go full time on that unstable job at a much lower income level if you feel confident about its growth potential. I myself am actually quite risk averse with things like this. So even when I reached an income level with YouTube that independently financially sustained me, I still didn't feel 100% confident to do it full-time like I thought I would have if you asked me about this a year ago, interestingly enough. Another thing to consider that's super important is longevity. So let's say with YouTube, one makes $200,000. With consulting, you also make $200,000. It's so obvious for some people to think, oh, well, YouTube's more fun and creative. If you make just as much from that, obviously do that. But you really have to factor in longevity. What I mean by that is, with consulting, if you choose to stay in it forever, you will have steady pay increases, high paying increases, by the way, and you can do that forever in theory. And if you choose not to stay in it forever, there are tons of other high paying jobs within business, whether that's going into a more specific industry or starting your own business that you are a suitable candidate for because of this toolkit that you get from your consulting job. While with YouTube, there really is no guaranteed longevity. The way that you can leverage your background in consulting for another job in the business world is really not the case with YouTube. Because at the end of the day, YouTube channels typically do not last forever, it's even difficult to stay relevant for two years, and there is no one obvious job that's as high paying for you to switch over to if and when your YouTube channel eventually slows down. Of course there are exceptions to this rule, but by and large, the exit opportunities after having success on YouTube are not as secure as those after consulting. So back to the decision making process, YouTube versus consulting or any of the other options that we mentioned. There are so many pros and cons beyond just income stability, obviously. Corporate jobs also come with other perks like health insurance, for example which is actually a biggie and it's especially complicated here in the United States so it's not something that should be treated as an afterthought if I may say so. Retirement benefits like 401k matching, maybe expensed meals, travel points, and perhaps the biggest one of all, for me at least, is a social context. Let me explain. Now that I've been doing YouTube full time for a few months, I have really come to realize how isolating of a job it is. I write my video outlines and scripts alone, I film alone, I edit alone, and that editing is the time intensive process, let me tell you. And I post alone. 
Post Malone. <laughs> and unless you live with other content creators, which in itself I assume would open up many a can of worm, you really don't have co-workers per se. And it might not be obvious in the moment, but when you're going into an office or an atmosphere where you're surrounded by co-workers who are working towards the same goal, I think that's huge, professionally and socially. With YouTube, yes, you can meet other creators and I've been doing that and that's been awesome. And you can collaborate with them, but I still think it's different. Because even if you and your other YouTuber friends do have the same goal to grow your own channels, again, even if you're throwing collaborations in there, it is still a very individualistic job. And by and large, I have found it very lonely to keep it real with you because I like my workplace gossip. I like being around other people and forming those genuine in-person connections that I just do not think you can form the same way online. The most obvious pro, I think, of YouTube and other similar jobs though is the freedom. I am my own boss. I don't have to answer to anyone. I set my own hours. I face the consequences of my own actions. That's a big one actually. And it's truly amazing. I will say if you are a one man show, which I am, you have to be very self-motivated and able to hold yourself 100% accountable. Otherwise, I would say it is borderline impossible to sustain. But if you are self-motivated and entrepreneurial and have this genuine interest and excitement to work towards this goal for yourself, it's pretty much the dream job. I mean, I get eight hours of sleep every single night, pretty much without fail. If a friend, let's say, asked me to dinner last minute, I can pretty much always drop whatever I'm doing and go because I'm working on my own deadline. Of course, I might have to find a few extra hours the next day to make up for that, but you get the idea. The flexible schedule really is a dream. So I decided to quit my consulting job for a number of reasons. Some of them are personal, but by and large, after taking time off, I arrived at the conclusion that YouTube just made more sense for me compared to where I was and how I was feeling about it. I'm not turning my back on consulting as a whole. I still think that it's a great first job out of undergrad, especially for those who don't totally know what they want to do long term. Fun fact, John Legend became a consultant right after graduating from Penn, so I guess you could say we're twinsies. Of course, he went on to become an international music sensation. We'll see about that one for me. Jokes aside though, it is a good job. You learn a ton of hard and soft skills in a very condensed amount of time. Is it a perfect job? No, no job is perfect. And I have plenty of my own criticisms about consulting as I've alluded to before, but it is a great first social and professional stepping stone right out of college at the very least. And if you're in the minority of people who stay in it for many years, that's great too. You can make a lot of money and hopefully have a good work-life balance after some time. <laughs> and what's in store for me, you're asking? Thank you for asking. Will I be doing YouTube full-time for the foreseeable future or will I be starting a new job? After Heavily weighing the pros and cons that you and I have just discussed, I did interview for another job, I received an offer, and I will be taking that offer. I am happy to say though, I will not be starting that job for a few more months, at which point I will tell you more about it. But in the meantime, more YouTube full throttle. It's cringy, I know. And of course, I will still be continuing YouTube once I start that full-time job as well, because in an ideal world, I will do both for as long as it makes sense to. And finally, why do I never say the name of my firm? It's not because I'm not allowed to. It's truly because I want my opinions about consulting as a profession to be received and dependent of my specific workplace. That's why. If you guys want to take a guess what industry my next job is in, leave a comment below. I read them all, so it'll be fun to see what you guys think. Like and subscribe for zero dollars. And until next time, turtle out. And my favorite flavor of ice cream is Ben & Jerry's Tonight Dew. Someone's smoking weed. Ow, my butt. It's sweaty. You might not be able to tell. Or maybe you can, but...